بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Said towards the end of time, a minus sign is the day of judgment will be. Ignorance will prevail. Knowledge will be lifted. There won't be many ulama left to speak and to educate the people, but there will be loads of books to read. Nabi Rasulullah Sallam said, drinking alcohol and intoxicants will be on the increase. Fornication and adultery will be on the increase. Nabi Rasulullah Sallam said, a minor sign of the day of judgment will be that men will begin to dress like women and women will begin to dress like men. A minor sign of the day of judgment will be that people will be competing in tall buildings Okay, who can build the tallest building? A minor sign of the day of judgment will be that ignorant people will be selected as leaders of nations. Jahil, Juhala, ignorant people who have no knowledge, they will be made leaders, governors of their states. Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi said, a minor sign of the day of judgment will be People who tell lies will have value and those who speak the truth will have no value. Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi said a sign of the day of judgment will be people will be interested in other people's business. Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi has mentioned that a sign, a minor sign of the day of judgment will be that murder will be on the increase. Killing will become rampant. Murder will be happening all the time. Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi mentioned another minor sign in the beloved saying that the Sahaba have been narrated to me and you. Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi said that a man will begin to respect his wife more than he will respect his own parents. A time will come when children will begin to disrespect their mothers and fathers. A time will come when indecency and immodesty behayai, will be prevalent everywhere. Brothers and sisters, we live in that time. We live in a time where our conversations are not exempt from backbiting. We live in a time where we will give false testimonies in the court of law. We live in a time where we will lie through our teeth, one lie upon another lie upon another lie. We live in the day and age where our young Muslim brothers and sisters have begun to fornicate prior to and before marriage. We live in a time when married men and women will become adulterers and adulteresses. We live in a time when our sisters begin to dress like boys and men and our men begin to dress like women. We live in a time where knowledge has been lifted from the people that today everyone claims he's a Muslim. We live in a time when Juhala, ignorant people are everywhere. We live in a day and age where swearing is on the increase. No sentence is exempt from swearing, from this swear and that swear. We live in a day and age where we find that our Muslim lands are ruled <coughs> by ignorant people, jahil people, who do not care about anyone but themselves. We live in a time now where children, young brothers and sisters are disrespecting their mothers and fathers. We live in a time when boys give more respect to their girlfriends than they give to their own parents. We live in a day and age when men are beginning to wear silk and adorn themselves with gold, gold earrings, gold plated teeth, gold rings, gold necklaces, we live in this day and age now. These are a few minor signs amongst the many that the Messenger of Allah Almighty told his beloved Sahaba. Amongst the major signs, 
Nabi Salatu Salam said, when the first major sign will come, then no one by one all the major signs will follow. One by one. The job will come. When the beast will rise from between Safa and Marwa, and he will have in his hand the staff of Musa salam, and the ring of Hazrat Suleiman, and he will mark every believer with the sign of Iman. And when the smoke will come over the people, and it will cover the entire world, when Allah Almighty will unleash Ya'juj and Ma'juj, this army of short people will have large ears who are behind a wall at this moment in time, licking away, waiting for Allah to give them permission so that they may cause havoc on the dunya. They may cause havoc on this dunya. We live in a time, or there will come a time, when Allah Almighty will send the great Imam Mahdi and the Muslim Ummah will unite. There will come a time when the Muslims will fight against the Christians and the Jews. There will come a time when Sayyidina Isa will come and will come down from the heaven and will defeat the judge. There will come a time, a major sign, when the sun will rise from the west to the east. There will come time when all these major signs will come. And when you read the sayings of Rasulullah Allah Almighty said the final hour will not be established until there will be nobody left in this dunya to read the name of Allah Almighty. Allah, Allah, Allah. When there will be nobody left to do the dhikr, when there will be nobody left to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that's when Allah Almighty will establish the death today. These are the signs that will come. These are signs that have happened. And there are signs that will happen.